Hello, audience. Ed Sheeran reveals theme for his next album. However, please take a minute to hit the subscribe button and flip on notification bell for greater updates and watch this video until the end. Ed Sheeran has now completed the 2024 performances of his Epic Mathematics tour, and the singer has revealed a new theme for his upcoming albums. Although he has yet to reveal more details about his upcoming music, he said in a recent Instagram post, We have one more year left on this tour, so the math is done for good, and we're going to together with the following symbols. This mention of the symbols seems to confirm what many fans thought at the end of last year after Ed posted a video on Instagram with a caption that concluded, See you next year when you press play and pop again, and have a wonderful holiday season X. The use of the word play in capital letters in the caption caused a lot of excitement among fans who began to speculate about the names of their next series of albums. One person on Reddit wrote, Why I see play, pause, rewind, forward, stop as the next album set in the future, with another replying to the comment, You really have a point XD. It was tattooed on his arm and he said the next series has been tattooed on his arm for over 10 years. Play, Pause, Rewind, Forward, and Stop are the next five albums. When will Ed Sheeran release his next album? There is no word yet on what Ed's next album will be called or when it will be released, but fans are hoping it will be soon. It's been a year since he released an album. In September 2023, he released Autumn Variations with songs like American Town. In 2004, Ed Sheeran began recording his own music and independently released his first collection of works, Spinning Man. In 2005, he released the EP The Orange Room which included four songs I Love You, Addicted, Misery and Moody Ballad of Ed. Ed once revealed that fellow singer-songwriter Damien Rice had been a huge inspiration to him, saying in 2015, I was only 11 or 12 when I saw Damien play at Waylands, and that night, he literally changed the my life. Spent talking to me has made a difference in a way that I only hope for someone else. Ed Sheeran did not steal from another songwriter when he wrote his 2017 mega-hit Shape of You, according to a court decision expected on Wednesday. Judge Zaccaroli, who is overseeing the case, said that Mr. Sheeran neither intentionally nor unknowingly copied the song Oh Why by British composer Sammy Chakri, who records under the name Sammy Switch. There was only speculative evidence that Mr. Sheeran had even heard Oh Why, added Judge Zaccaroli, rejecting Mr. Sheeran's claim. Chakri for copyright infringement the plagiarism case was just the latest involving a prominent singer-songwriter, but record industry executives have been watching the case closely because of its potential to fuel other charges. Mr. Sheeran is still on trial in New York for another of his hits, Thinking Out Loud, which won Song of the Year at the 2016 Grammys, some of the copyright owners of Marvin Gaye's song Let's Get It On accuse Mr. Sheeran of copying it. At the heart of the London connection was a short passage of Shape of You, which reached the top of the world charts and is currently the most streamed song on Spotify, with more than 3 billion plays. In that song, Mr. Sheeran repeatedly sings the refrain O, oh, I in a catchy pentatonic melody, for which Mr. Chakri says it is based on a part of his song O oh Y, which was released in 2015 but had little success. We learned Ed Sheeran's most useful secret. His writing partner has revealed that he convinced Ed Sheeran to concentrate enough to write Shape of You by giving him wait for it a suitcase full of Legos. Although Ed is well known as a songwriter par excellence, writing songs for lesser known artists such as Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, Taylor Swift, Naughty Boy and Lupe Fiasco is apparently not an easy task for him to focus on in concentration. Johnny McDade, Ed Sheeran's writing partner and also, fun fact, a member of Snow Patrol explained to the New York Times that he used an unusual approach to get Sheeran to focus. How to wear Lego. His attention span.